And now we're going to have some fun. Put on your personalities because you're going to create a voice to match your puppet. Gordy, would you please tell us about how you got your voice from Jace? Sure. Well, um, something that, that I find really neat is all, all my puppet voice is is a little bit higher than my normal speaking voice. And to get into it, all I do is I go up a couple little octaves, and you know what? The puppet comes alive. Because if I sounded like this as a third grader, that would sound really silly. Something that you want to do is you want to find a voice, that one that you can do for a long time. We're looking at probably 10 to 15 minutes at a time, um, and where it doesn't hurt your voice. Um, there's definitely some voices out there that, that can hurt you. Um, and, but then also what you want to do, or how I come up with most of my voices, is I think of cartoon characters from the past, um, just the classics, um, whether it be uh, from Sesame Street, from Warner Brothers, from any of your old cartoons that you remember, start to um, develop those voices, try to mimic them, and then pretty soon you're going to come up with your own voice. Let me show you one that uh, I started as an uh, imitation that was very bad and turned into a great puppet. This is my friend Albie, and Albie's a crazy little bird. And uh, all Albie's voice was, was it started off as Kermit the Frog. Hello, my name is Kermit the Frog. And then uh, it just developed from that. I don't do a very good Kermit the Frog impression. And so we end up with a voice like this. Good morning. Hi, everybody. My name is Albie, and I just love to be here. You, all you kids are just crazy. So all of a sudden, you have an animated character. Kids have no idea who you are. And you automatically have a voice. Now, some voices are going to be a little bit harder to learn. Now, this next voice, you really have to develop a character for the puppet. This puppet, his name is, is her name, we're not really sure yet, is Wild Thing. Now, when, uh, when I picked up this puppet, for some reason, obviously I thought of Mick Jagger, uh, got the big old lips, and then I just wanted to throw in uh, a little bit of southern drawl with that as well, and so I came up with the voice for Wild Thing of this. Come here, baby, give me a kiss. You know you want to. Oh, baby. Mwah, 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 mwah. And now all of a sudden, your puppet has come alive. The kids can recognize that puppet by the voice. The interesting thing, though, is if someone else would pick up this same puppet, they're going to come up with a different voice, a different personality, and a totally different persona. Now, as you teach in different age groups, you're going to want to use different age-appropriate puppets. Now, this little guy is named Bubba. Now, when I looked at Bubba, you see a big, large, fat head. I just imagine some chubby jowls, and, and he talks like this. And so it's almost like he's got a piece of paper stuck in his mouth. And, uh, and hi, my name is Bubba. And so when you do that, your character, the longer you do the voice and the longer you do that puppet, that more alive, the more alive this puppet is going to sound. Now, something that's a challenge, as always, is a man with a deep bass, vo deep bass voice trying to do a girl puppet. Now, surprisingly enough, even though this looks a little silly of me uh, doing this voice, the kids don't notice. They don't care. And you know what, guys? Every single one of you have talked in that voice, whether it's in the shower or wherever. You've all used that voice at some point. So now you get to let the voice out and get to be that little, um, whether it's a four-year-old or a five-year-old little girl in pigtails. As you develop puppets, and as you get puppets in your repertoire or um, find puppets for different situations, you're going to all of a sudden be purchasing puppets with a voice in mind. Uh, this gentleman happens to be um, our next door neighbor. Hello, my name's Bob. I'm your next door neighbor. Did you want to come over to my house for a barbecue this weekend? And you develop a voice for that puppet. Something that, um, as you continue to do that, sometimes your voices change. This originally was a drill sergeant puppet. And as we talked earlier, um, it hurts my voice to do it very long. And so when we talk like this and drop and give me 50, don't you love Jesus? It looks great, it sounds good, but the problem is, is it hurts my voice. And so I can't do that for an extended period of time, and so it's not worth me doing that voice. So we ended up switching to Bob the Neighbor.